Uh, dear children, how are you? Do you feel very happy? Uh, today we are going to a poem written by William Shakespeare. You can find this one in plus two, unit three. The name of the poem is All the World is Stage. Uh, William Shakespeare is called the father of English drama. Uh, such a very huge personality he is. All the world celebrates him in a high manner. And he was born in the year 1564. And he lost his life in the year 1616. So in between these two years, he acclaimed a good name by writing 37 dramas and 154 sonnets and more than two or three verses. So in almost all his works, you can see a normal natural life anybody can face. All his ideas and philosophical feelings are very learned up to this date. That's why like Thiruvallur in Tamil Nadu, you can have Shakespeare all over the world. So uh, he understands the human nature of each and everybody in the world and almost all the works expose the feelings of his philosophy. And here in this particular poem, all the world is a stage. He simply thinks about we are the players. We means the men and women. We are normally players, we are merely players. That means life is very easy. You take life very easily, you can get a victory. It's a circle, life is a circle. It's like a caterpillar. As caterpillar gets the egg and gets into larva, then moving on to pupa, from there moving on to the adult stage and again coming back to our egg stage. Likewise, our whole life is a circle. Arbitrary of life is the message of this particular poem. So, such a personality, here he writes a drama called As You Like It. In As You Like It, he produces a character called Jax. Here, what the lines you are going to see in this particular poem are the speech or the expressions of his speech or the expressions of the speech of Jax. His speech completely exposes the philosophy of life, the cycle of life, the circle of life. So, Jax's speech that we are going to listen. It's one of the quoted passages all over the world as if you are having to be or not to be in Hamlet. So, if you listen to these lines, you can think life is a comedy, life has a sense of humor, but it's not a jest. It's not to be laughed with, life has to be experienced with. Such an experience that Shakespeare gives to us here. So, if you read, he splits life into seven ages as if many poets, many philosophers, they think in their own way how life can be split. For example, a boy in between 10 to 16, for example, you yourself, you are in the age of uh, denarian. For example, I am in the area of uh, octogenarian and he is in the age of centenarian. So likewise, we are splitting, for example, because a boy or girl who is in between 10 and 19 uh, is under denarian. One who has crossed 80 years and above, in between 80 and 89, uh, he is in the age of uh, octogenarian. One who has crossed 100 and above, uh, he has crossed uh, or he has crossed the level of 100 so that he can call he is in the age of centenarian. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. Here words, uh, here the words used by Shakespeare shows that life is very easy because he, used the word, he uses the word merely. It's very normal, life is very normal, it can be easily taken up by all. You just see the children, a child for example, how he takes life, he does not know. It is known only to the parents. If he moves on to the schoolboy, the next stage will come. Likewise, they have their exits, they have their entrances. Here Shakespeare uses the word exits at first and entrances for musical ability. Exits means a death and entrance means birth. So everybody gets birth and leaves the world when they have the life at the end. When doom appears, 
they leave the world. So we as the players, Shakespeare here compares the world to a stage. Stage is compared to a, compared to the world. And life is compared to a drama. And we are merely players. If we come onto the earth, we start playing. We are the actors. Somebody gives a force behind us. Either the parents or the society or the teachers, they give the force for us. And we start moving towards our life. And we get experiences. When the experiences are over, when our age attains the age of death, then we leave this world. So this kind of philosophy he gives through the words called exits and entrances. So let us move to the first stage. The first stage, let me read the lines. At first, the infant, mewling and puking in the nurse arms, then the whining schoolboy with his sachel and shining morning face, creeping like snail unwillingly to school. See, you might have seen the lines. Let us say about the gist of the lines. Here we have covered two ages. One is infancy, another one schoolboy. During infancy, the child is crying, complaining, and giving a thrill voice to the mother. Mommy, I want, and that's all. Like that sound comes from a child. That kind of child crying is called mewling. And sometimes the child could not adjust to the climatic condition of the earth. So it gets everything vomiting. So when it vomits, it falls on the mother's or nurse's or somebody's dress. So the child, that's the nature of the child. Ningle in Armala Patrupinga, Namur Sapa, Yalela put to Sapa Patina, Akalamala Pogdi on the Valadabokargo, Kuruya Pogdi, Yadabokargo, and in the book Yadaboka, Kerala, Kamia Sapan Uruga, Kasari, Konjama Sabdunga, Nadulaka Sapa, Padi Sabdunga, Valadabokatal, Naria Kakuri, Kairi, Naria Sabdunga, either Abdi Sapa, Talayla, Matunga, Mother Pias and Sapti, Upper Moor Sapti, Upper Pulikoms, Rasan Sapti, Pulikoms, and Backla Ponina, Celebrate the Sara. Peri orang lain itu perasan aku mau kalau anda yang pernah dengar dua orang sendana payah kerja, anda infant sing kerja zero to two years, anda kalau anda dengan climatic condition, sahaja, pal, ini dalam orang itu kerja naal aku, so adunal, anda kalau anda kalau anda kau jadi mario baru kerja naal aku, adunal, that's why Shakespeare gives the words mewling and puking in the nurse arms, here nurse may refer to either mummy or daddy or any relatives or ayah or somebody else, so it doesn't mean only the nurse. So in such a way he expresses these words. So next comes here in the same in the same uh, slide you might have seen schoolboy. The schoolboy is very unwilling to go to school. Nowadays the boys are not the girls are not like that because the smart classes have come and now we have changed we have given many technological effects to the classrooms. We are running towards the school to learn something else either on the laptop or on the cell or through the smart classes. So we are very interested but in those days you think about 420 years back of about Shakespeare's time. In those days students were unwilling to go to school. The boys were unwilling to go to school. Slowly he moves like a snail. Like a snail, he moves to school. He is very reluctant in going to school. Often he complains to the mother or the father, Mommy, Daddy, I have headache. I have stomachache. I have to go to school. 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 Now, let's go to the next age or the stage of a man. Nama Kelly Potro, Laila Majnu, Sajakan Mumdaj, Anthony Kelly Potra, Awang Orde Kadal Nae Epuri Irundur Ke, Or Nanu Rai Nu Orsengal Ke Munadi, Ayer Orsengal Ke Munadi Awang Orde Love Epuri Irundur Ke, True Love In Those Days, No Place For Infatuation, So Really They Loved, Really They Married, There They Lived, But Nowadays, What Kind Of Nature That We Feel, Or Husband Wife, Pudus Apa Dan Kalian Muni Undur Kanga. Awang bintik kalau nolong jauh ni, awang lalu ke orang adik adik kalat orang lakukan bintik kalau ni, anda payah anda ponno baru sah marriage bunang orang dua sah anda potong orang, apabila pakai tu kita tata parti orang dua, apabila dah sirih citer orang, ini payah anda velik pergi orang, velik pon orang anda ponno mati pakai tu orang tata parti tu pergi orang, tata parti, orang bintik lalu mati apabila sirih sah tengah kerja, ada enna part, enna karena, apabila tata orang parti cerita orang, kalau modal tata cerita orang, saya anda kau potong karandi buat eri, 
அந்த கரண்டி பாட்டி மேலே பட்டுச்சுன்னா நான் சிரிப்பேன் படலினா அவள் சிரிப்பா அவளும் சில நேரத்தில் சட்டி விட்டு என் மேலே எரிவா அது என் மேலே பட்டுச்சுன்னா அவள் சிரிப்பா படலினா நான் சிரிப்பேன் இதுதான் எங்கள் சந்தோஷம் இதான் இப்போ அட்ஜஸ்ட்மெண்ட் வாழ்க்கை அந்த வாழ்க்கைங்கிற அப்படி இருக்கணும் ஒரு அந்யோன்யமாக இருக்கக்கூடிய வாழ்க்கை இந்த காலத்தில் அங்கங்கே ஒரு சில இடத்துல தான் இருக்குது ஆனால் அந்த காலத்தில் லவ் பண்ணாங்க மேரேஜ் பண்ணாங்க அது லைஃப்பை லீட் பண்ணி ஒரு சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல்லாக காமிச்சாங்க ஸோ அப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு பையன் ஒரு பொண்ணை லவ் பண்ணுறான் கியர் ஹி லவ்ஸ் எ கேர்ள் தட் கேர்ள் இஸ் ஆப்சென்ட் ஷீ டஸ் நாட் அக்செப்ட் ஷி மைட் நாட் ஹவ் அக்செப்டட் த லவ் ஆஃப் த பர்டிகுலர் பாய் தட்ஸ் ஒய் ஹி ரைட்ஸ் பேலட்ஸ் ஹி ரைட்ஸ் பேலட்ஸ் ஆஃப்டர் பேலட்ஸ் டு த பாய் ஆர் த கேர்ள் வைஸ் வர்சா டு அக்செப்ட் ஒன்ஸ் லவ் தட்ஸ் ஒய் ஹியர் ஹி லைட் ஹி ரைட்ஸ் ஏ பேலட் டு இஸ் ஐஸ் மிஸ்ட்ரஸ் ஐப்ரோ ஏன்னா கண்ணில் நீங்கள் பிரிவம் பார்த்துருக்கீங்க ஒரு முகத்தை பார்த்தா நம்ம டக்குன்னு முதல்ல பேசுகிறது கண்ணை பார்த்து தான் பேசுவோம் அந்த கண்ணுடைய அட்ராக்ஷன் தான் முதல்ல யாராக இருந்தாலும் ஃபஸ்ட்டு படியும் அதில் அந்த ஐப்ரோ தான் முதல் நம்பர் ஒன் நம்ம தமிழில் எத்தனையோ கவிதைகள் பார்த்துருப்பீங்க நிறைய கவிதைகள் நிறைய பாடல்கள் எல்லாமே ஒரு மெயினான ஒரு ஆப்ஜெக்ட் வச்சு எழுதியிருப்பாங்க தட்ஸ் கால்டு மூன் நிலாவை வச்சு நம்ம நிறைய எழுதியிருக்காங்க கவிதைகள் பாடல்கள் அதே மாதிரி ஆங்கிலத்தில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு பெண்ணை வர்ணிக்கணும் அப்படினா முதல்ல கண்ணை தான் வர்ணிப்பாங்க அந்த கண்ணுக்கு இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் கொடுத்து ஹி கிவ்ஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் டு த ஐ அண்ட் மெயின்லி டு த ஐ ப்ரோ தென் ஹி ஆஸ் த பாய் டு ரைட் எ லெட்டர் டு த பர்டிகுலர் கேர்ள் மெயின்லி ஆன் த பார்ட் ஆஃப் ஐ ப்ரோ ஸோ தட்ஸ் ஒய் ஷேக்ஸ்பியர் யூசஸ் த வேர்ட்ஸ் மிஸ்ட்ரஸ் ஐ ப்ரோ ஸோ தட்ஸ் பீங் வெரி அட்ராக்டட் இஃப் ஒன் அக்செப்ட் த ஐஸ் ஆஃப் த அதர்ஸ் தென் த லவ் இஸ் அக்செப்டட் ஸோ சச்சிய நேச்சர் ஹி எக்ஸ்பிரஸஸ் ஸோ லவ்வர் ஹி இஸ் சைங் லைக் எ ஃபோர்னிஸ் Cycle, like, sign like a furnace means he writes the ballad. Ballad is a narrative poem. It's a narrative poem expressing a story in small stanzas. So, Kadai Kavidai Nama Sollo. Kadai Yavai Abdi Kavidai Lai Kondu Varra Mari. So, Andha Mari Poyetho Or Paiyan Yeludhuraan, Yeludhi Anupuraan, Daisayin Oudi Lava Yethukha. Abdi Nisholli Anupuraan, Andha Kavidai Yavai Yeludhuraan Pohudhu Pirmuchu Vangaraan. Ippa Laila Ava Arundhu Majunu Vaharukka Aangga Abdi Na, Andha Laila Aita Majunu Yepidhi Ketru Paru, Majunu Onei Pahakunu Mbola, Laila Onei Pahakunu Mbola Aasya Arukku, Majunu Onei Pahakunu Mbola Aasya Arukku, Sulli Yeppa Yeppa Sulli Yeppa Varuva, Sulli Yeppa Varuva, Andha Pirmuchu Varudhu Parunga, Andha Pirmuchu Aivar Inge Kondu Varaharu, He is sighing like a furnace. so such a severe action that he is having in his mind to go and visit the lady love that's why he first sends the uh, ballot on the mr cybro in such a way he expresses here now let's go to the next stage here comes the stage of soldier now let me read the lines then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like the part jealous in honor sudden and quick in quarrel seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth such a strong feeling such a song expression shakespeare gives here over to the stage of soldier because a soldier it doesn't mean the person who is going and joining the army of england it doesn't mean only that here soldier means the man in between the age of 25 and 40 he is ready to argue against the injustice of the society if any injustice happens in the society immediately the man moves forward stands there among the society people argues for the in, argues against the injustice and gets the justice so any person who is going and arguing against injustice comes under this stage soldier not only that one other side we can say he is a real soldier a real soldier in england might have given a promise i must save my country i must protect my country i will safeguard my country such promises he gave to his country people and left for army and left for military so in both the ways we have to consider the word the meaning of the word soldier so soldier it refers either to the citizen who is very protecting the people by standing among the society other side the soldier means he is going to the army to safeguard his country in both ways he can take and here he quarrels he is ready to quarrel he is ready to argue so in, even just you might have seen how anumand fought for the country how he got the award you can just bring the major generals captains lieutenants all to your eyes and how they are fighting for the country safeguarding the country in the same way 400 years back those soldiers also fought those people in england they also fought like that வீரர்கள் அப்படிங்கிறது இந்த இடத்துல கிராமத்தில் அங்கே இருந்துட்டு யாராவது அநீதி விளைவிச்சாங்கன்னா மக்களுக்காக அந்த அநீதிக்கு எதிர்த்து போராடக்கூடியவங்க அவங்களும் சோல்ஜர்ஸாக தான் இங்கே ஷேக்ஸ்பியர் கன்சல்ட் பண்ணுறாரு ஒரு ஆர்மிலேயோ மிலிட்ரியில் ஜென்ரலாக போய் ஜாயின் பண்ணால் கூட அதையும் அவர் சோல்ஜர் தான் அவர் சொல்கிறாரு ஸோ சோல்ஜர் இஸ் வெரி குயிக் வெரி ஃபாஸ்ட் வெரி அஜாயில் இன் கோயிங் அண்ட் ஆர்கியூயிங் ஐதர் ஃபார் த சேக் ஆஃப் த பீப்புள் ஆர் ஃபார் த சேக் ஆஃப் த சிட்டிசன்ஸ் ஹூ ஆர் வித் இன்ஜஸ்டிஸ் okay so this kind of nature that he is introducing here that's why you be 
ready to fight against injustice. So this kind of idea is very relevant even to this stage. So what are the ideas so far I have given to you almost all the ideas. Ella Kartukolo, say spirit solo kore, Ella Kartukolo, Indre Kala Katatu or Elevan Amaka, eleven Tarkoki Kartukal Narke, Adanadam Shakespeare, father of English drama and solid to grow. So English Layaraka first Shakespeare of Dina, our own top level of Chukur Karnaza, in the true lover of Dina and go on the Shakespeare. Our Ella Nadangalim, Thunder Sonnets Lelatlio, Thunder Lyrics Lissari, in the Kartukal Anganga, the Edro Chitair Ker. And he is living even now. So such a person, our day kala thala angle thala orakuri yelthu kali pengir kuri kavi thala orakuri yelthu kal pati na palay archaic English kada yadu. Yurundu ayrathi ayinuthi aruthi naalke pinnadi yurundu orre. Our ke munadi jaffe chasar yurundare palay aalgal na angode yelthu kal na pati na palay English swarthi kala yurundichu. Mekath abhi palay English arko. Our yurude English yurundare nai san singarudu marude. Aada inda varigal na niye pataavi angolu teriyo. Yevala swarthi yurundu pusu sa porter kare. Or marumala chair porter kare. Aada marumala chitta orre karuthu kal na matte lamma angila swarthi yili pukondu yurundu kar paarenge. So now let's go to the next stage here. And then the justice. In fair round belly, with good capon lined, with eyes severe, and beard of formal cut, full of wise sauce, modern instances, and so he plays his part. In these lines, Shakespeare talks about a judge. In those days, for example, during the 16th century, if you think about the judges, some judges they got bribes. Some judges, judges, they got bribes and what the money they have got with that they ate so much. Most of the time they were eating chicken, a fatty chicken. So consequently their belly has come out and they are very fat and being seated in a chair and having a belly, a protruding belly they had. So this is being categorically stressed here by Shakespeare. But even though even though they are like that, they give modern instances, they gave sauce, that means they gave the proverbs, they gave the quotations, they gave the citations, they gave the advice, the suggestions to other people. If any youth comes and approaches uh, the judges or the justice, the judge or the justice being seated in the mid of the village or city or in the court. They gave more pieces of, many pieces of advice to the youngsters. You have to live like this, you have to live like that. You are going to lead your life like that. If you are in the world, 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 you are in the world. So he is an experienced person. Here judge or justice is meant by an experienced person. A relevant person who has got more experiences and being seated at one place in the village, in the middle of the village, or koil, koil kumnadi okandru pange, or nada kumnadi okandru pange, or arasamarth kadila, or alamarth kadila, or patibir sendu periyengla okandru pange. Avangi tapui andu ur lagre ilangi erkel nariya, or suggestions kya pange, andu cake ra kala gatarla andu agala thale irunaga. Abu kan dalam kemudian pati nallah gunda kan dalam panggil, bawa nallah perusa orang, beli perusa orang, yang mana nereiya chicken saft saft, kolup, adukinnya kolup pula koli gelap ini nereiya anda kalau terbalat terkangge, anda chicken boleh ibang anda saft doangge, saft itu ada tu orang lakukan, hari hari kalau solat kuriya orang wise, anda hari hari kalau nereiya soli itu nangge, apni pada stage itu justice ngan stage, anda justice ala judge nave, orang lighta orang kurun dadi orang ciri pangge. Anda kurun dadi ingat tu orang lakukan all the world stage apa terlalu, anda soldier orang ciri pare, ibang anda terukon. Anak ibu itu kunci punca perasa orang, awang itu punca nice asin nada orang. That is the sign of bravery. If you have a slight beard, if you have a slight beard, that is the sign of bravery. That is the sign of experience. That is the sign of wisdom or knowledge. So either the soldiers or the judges or justice, they used to have beard in those days. But nowadays you can have some of the people having beard and others normally well shaven. So such a person, he is giving advice to the society. So justice, that's the duty of the justice. Now let's go to the next stage. Here comes, you see, the sixth age sifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon with the spectacles on nose and pouch on side. His youthful hoose, well saved, a world too wide for his strength sank 
and his big manly voice turning again toward childish treble and pipes and whistles in his sound. See, this is the age of old age. A man attains here the old age. After being a soldier, after crossing 40, 50th age or 50th age, he reaches the old age. When he becomes old, he starts losing his teeth. So, because of the loss of the teeth, because of the gap in the teeth, he gets the treble voice in the treble manner or a shrill voice he is having. His words are not very clear to other people. So far, he went so deep into the world, but now, he shrunk, he shrunk completely his world into one corner of his house. The old man sits at one corner of the house and talks to his uh, uh, children or the grandchildren or the relatives. By the time his voice is not very clear, even his body also, even his physical structure also is very weak because he doesn't have the flesh in between the knee and the ankle. That flesh has gone out and he is very lean. Almost the skin has become wrinkled, a voice is not clear, his bodily structure is not clear. So he has a wrinkled face. So he cornered himself at one place. Now the world becomes wide. He becomes a strong person, but the world becomes wide. That's why he says, wide world so far, till I was a soldier, I could go deep into the world, I experienced everything, but now I lost my moving. I stopped my moving. I could not move anywhere else. I got cornered myself, but I have the experience. Even though my voice has become weak, my body has become weak, I couldn't move outside. My youth, what the dress that I had worn in those days, have become loose nowadays. I could wear those dresses properly. My slippers have become very loose. Pants, dresses, everything has become very lean. My bodily structure becomes lean. My voice also has become lean. How many stages so far? Six stages been over. Among all these six stages, Shakespeare has given more importance to the sixth stage of old age. He wrote about seven lines here. For all the other stages or the ages, he has given only three or four lines. But he has given more importance here. Because he has experienced himself has experienced that one. See the last scene of all. Last scene of all that ends this eventful history is second childishness. And mere oblivion. Sans teeth. Sans eyes. Sans taste. Sans everything. Everything has gone. He cornered himself at one place in the house. Nobody is there. He got the sense of forgetfulness. Now he forgets everything. Some of his friends, some of his relatives also have forgotten him. And none comes to see him. None that he goes to see others. Such a condition. He lost his teeth, he could not speak. He lost his eyes, he could not see. He lost his taste, he could not eat. He lost everything. Just That's the stage just before death. Now death comes. Now death comes uh, as if death comes to Dr. Faustus. Now death is going to take his life. He is at the last level. Such a condition. Kadaisi katatha konditar. Pal ellam poirich. Pechu poirich. Kan parva poirich. Ella sondha karang yara alam thana khel ponna ngal elan vittitu poitta ngal. Inda kaanathal eppidi nima appa maa uttik velila pora nupa ngal. Leventhal, idu kaave, ungulik modal pada ochirukro. The portrait of a lady ochirukro. Appa o madinge, amma o madinge, thatha pati madinge. Ungulik kavani kiri ungulam madinge, ungulik teacher samadinge, samudaya thela. Ungulik yar pathukro ungulam avangalam madinge. Anu madikilo ungre enna kadisla varno. Aadha yur feel feel panir kare. Feel pani kadisla. Ellam poyi tangga tanaku maradi ondirche. Ellam ei mudinjirche. Namuri walka mudiye pouda. Yosi kare. Anu varthu thode ei orde walka mudiye. Namu bookle book bag exercise enna kudu kanga listening skill kudu kanga. Warming irukde. Kadisya parallel reading irukde. There are appreciation questions, ERC questions, paragraphs. If you don't know what to do, you can understand that you can understand that you can enjoy it. If you are doing any comedy exam, you will be able to settle in your mind. So, who is called the father of English drama? Who is called the father of English drama? Who is called the father of English drama? Who is called the father of English poetry? Geoffrey Chaucer. How many stages are there? How many ages are there? 
in this particular poem kettha seven ages nu solanum what is the st third stage appdin kettaanga na third stage tell me yeah first stage is infancy second one school boy third one lover stage how many stages are there what are the characteristics of this stage of a soldier what are the characteristics of the last stage so which is compared to which one how the men and women are compared to what ipdi endha kelvigal kettalum புரிஞ்சு நல்லபடியாக ஆன்சர் சொல்கிற மாதிரி பண்ணுங்கள் அப்படி பண்ணால் தான் உங்களுடைய பாடங்கள் ரொம்ப இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட்டாக இருக்கும் இது மாதிரி எந்த சப்ஜெக்டாக இருந்தாலும் புரிஞ்சு படிங்க வாழ்க்கையில் கண்டிப்பாக முன்னேற்றம் இருக்கும் என்று கூறிக்கொண்டு அனைத்து மாணவ மனைவர்களுக்கும் என்னுடைய வணக்கத்தை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றேன் நன்றி வணக்கம் இந்நிகழ்ச்சியை பற்றிய தங்களின் மேலான கருத்துக்களை கீழ்கண்ட முகவரிக்கு கடிதம் மூலமாகவோ மின்னஞ்சல் மூலமாகவோ குறுஞ்செய்தி மூலமாகவோ தெரியப்படுத்தலாம் அனுப்ப வேண்டிய முகவரி சிறப்பு அலுவலர் கல்வி தொலைக்காட்சி எட்டாம் தளம் அண்ணா நூற்றாண்டு நூலகம் காந்தி மண்டப சாலை கோட்டூர்புரம் சென்னை ஆறு லட்சத்து எண்பத்தி ஐந்து தொலைபேசி எண் ஏழு எட்டு இரண்டு நான்கு பூஜ்ஜியம் ஒன்று ஐந்து பூஜ்ஜியம் பூஜ்ஜியம் பூஜ்ஜியம்